I've made over seven figures online in my business with just one digital product doing a little over 900K. And I used to think that marketing was the answer, but I did not start having success until I stopped marketing. Now, it's only going to take me about five minutes to break down this simple concept. So if you don't have five minutes to spare, then by all means, go watch a cat video or something and continue to keep on not having success. But I fired my job back in 2016. I jumped off the porch without ever making a dollar for myself outside of my nine to five. And I'm hearing all these people talk about market, 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 market. You got to market in order to make money for your business. All you should be focused on is marketing. So I started to listen to all these marketing gurus and I started to buy all these marketing courses and buy and study all these marketing books. I became obsessed with marketing, right? And then I'm just like, man, I'm doing what all these marketing guys are saying. I'm doing what all these marketing books are saying. Why isn't anything working for me? Why can't I make anything shake? I'm out here trying to cook, but I ain't got no grease. I just keep on burning the skillet up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I need to start cooking with grease instead of just putting the meat straight up on the grill and, and burning everything, right? And then one day I was watching the greatest show of all time, Avatar, The Last Airbender. If you have not seen Avatar, The Last Airbender, I highly recommend that you watch that. For one, the greatest show of all time. And outside of it just having an amazing storyline and great animation, there's a lot that you can learn. There's a lot of game in there, not only about life, but I learned a lot about business and entrepreneurship just with the way that my mind works when I was sitting there and watching that show. And I happen to have on an Avatar t-shirt. And trust me, don't click off of this if you're thinking of right now. I know I'm talking about cartoons like this guy said he made over a million dollars and he made all this money selling digital products and he's sitting here talking about a cartoon. I'm going somewhere with it because this generated a lot of money for me and my business. Now, if you're not familiar with the cartoon, the Avatar, the Avatar Aang, little bald head kid right here with the arrow in the middle of his head, he had to master the four elements of Earth to basically become the ultimate warrior, the ultimate protector, because his main mission, his destiny was to, to be the protector of Earth. And the four elements of Earth are air, water, earth, and fire. He had to master those four elements. And in entrepreneurship, there's also four elements that you have to master in order to become the successful entrepreneur that you want to become. And I realized that I was skipping steps. And these are the four. So like I said, Avatar Aang, he had to master four elements. Us as entrepreneurs, we have to master four elements as well. First element is branding. For Aang, the first thing that he had to master was he, he was a water bender, so he mastered the water. Secondly, then we have marketing, which for Aang, it happened to be water. Then we have sales, which for Aang, it happened to be earth. And then the last one was delegation. For Avatar Aang, his last one was fire. The reason for that is because fire is the most dangerous of the four elements. So he had to wait and, and learn that one last. As far as entrepreneurship, delegation is the one that can burn everything down. So that's why we have to get these other three down first. But I'll get into that a little bit later in this video. So I started off marketing, right? This is where I started off. But I was skipping the most important step, the most important level of the four of branding. And it's first because it's the foundation. I did not build a solid foundation. That's why my marketing was not working. Think about this. Have you ever been to the mall and there's that, there's that person that's in the middle of the mall in the mall kiosk and they are annoying as hell. Every time you walk past that person in the middle of the mall, the mall kiosk, they're always trying to get you to do a bunch of stuff that you don't want to do. They're, they're an annoyance. They, they pester you, right? Hey, can I spray this on you and make you smell like something different than what you smell like right now? Can I rub this lotion on you right now? Can I just touch you and get it all in your personal space and rub this lotion on you? Hey, can I clean your white shoes so you'll have a clean, wet, soggy, 
right shoe and soggy sock and have a dirty and dry left shoe and left sock? You say no to that person in that mall kiosk 10 times out of 10, don't you? Why? Because you don't know them. You have no brand familiarity. And then what do you do 10 times out of 10? You walk past them and you go to the store that you're already familiar with and that you already know, like, and trust. While most entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs, marketing doesn't work, is because they did spend no time, energy, or effort on branding. So you're marketing to a bunch of people that do not know who you are. You are no different than that annoying person in the middle of the mall at the kiosk. Because everything in business, period, goes off of what I call the KLT, know, like, and trust factor. People buy from people that they know, that they like, and that they trust. That's why you walk past that person in the middle of the mall kiosk and you walk to the store that has already built that know, like, and trust factor with you. You are already familiar with the brand. So the reason why marketing does not work is because you've done no branding. So you market to people that are familiar with your brand. Then you sell to the people that you market to. And then lastly, like I said, the last element, just like Aang had to master the fire, the last one is delegation. Because delegation, this is when you get to a point of scaling. You'll have to replicate yourself because there's only so much that you yourself can do. So you may start having to hire employees if you want to scale to a certain level. Or you may not have to even hire another employee, like an actual quote unquote employee. You may outsource to a virtual assistant like me, virtual assistants that I've used, I'll outsource them from a different country like the Philippines, for example, uh, just because I'm leveraging the power of the US dollar versus the Filipino peso so they can do some of the things that I may not have the time to do or I, that I just may not want to do. So delegation and the reason why I said delegation is the most dangerous and it's like lash, just like for aim. Firebending was last because it can burn everything down if you don't know how to control the fire, right? And Aang couldn't control it. He ended up hurting Qatar with the just just watch the show. But he had, he had to master that last, right? And I've had I've had people in the wrong positions that that brought down a lot of stuff very very fast when you have people in the wrong positions and delegation. It doesn't always have to be um, people. Right. Delegation could also be, uh, you know, it can be software. Right. Delegation doesn't always have to be people. It can be softwares. It can be automations and stuff like that. It's just just stuff that removes you and delegates either someone or something to a task. But we're talking about branding. Right. So think. Branding, marketing, sales, delegation again. You spend time, energy, and effort on a solid brand. You market to the people that are familiar with the brand. You sell to the people that are that you have marketed to. That's how you make money online. You don't just market. And trust me, I wasted a lot of time, energy, effort, and money on marketing to a bunch of people and an audience that had no clue on who I was. So why the hell would they buy my stuff? Brand is the key, not marketing. Now, I'm not saying that marketing is not important. It definitely is. But if you don't have any audience to market to, your marketing isn't going to work. And don't skip steps starting off like I did. See all these people on the screen right now? I'm helping them not skip steps and make the same painful, hurtful, costly mistakes like I did. So if you're ready to make more working less from stuff that you already know with digital products, go ahead and click the link down in the description. Join this crowded at the top community for weekly coaching from myself, all of my exclusive trainings, plus a private community of entrepreneurs all designed to grow your business online. It's only 47 bucks a month to join. That's less than a cup of coffee per day. So click the link down in the description to tap in and I'll see you on our coaching call this Wednesday.
but I just know how confusing it can be out there and how that's, that's honestly why a lot of people quit because they are actually putting in a, a effort, but their effort is going towards the wrong things in the wrong order. And the, and the worst possible thing, the worst possible thing that could happen to you is that your marketing works and that you actually make money. Because, because starting off, once I actually found a little bit of success or what I thought was some success at the time, like I, I actually started to see a return on some of my marketing and I was like, oh, okay, I figured it out. But it's just like if you're building the house, right? Say you build the house and, and you have no foundation. The house is just gonna collapse at some point. I was building on, on a structure that had no base. And the brand, and the brand is the base to where you can always fall back on. Brand's most important. Then you build off of that and then you start marketing. Because the higher and higher and higher and higher and higher that you go, but you don't have anything to land on, if something happens and if you have no brand, trust me, something is going to happen. It's going to be real bad. And another thing with your brand too, something that you can that you can always do with a brand is that the brand can keep elevating. A mistake that I made in the past was that I continued to raise the bar. Think we're 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 super ambitious, right? We have all these goals and these dreams, and and somebody like my myself, I I tackle. I'm 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 relentless at at the pursuit of my goals and my dreams and my aspirations, right? Raise the bar, raise the bar, raise the bar, raise the bar. But just like building this house with no foundation, if you continue to raise the bar, then you continue to raise the bar and you continue to raise the bar, but you don't raise the floor as well. If stuff bottoms out, it just, it just falls to the absolute bottom. And as you're building your brand, your brand can continue to rise. Your brand can continue to have more and more and more brand recognition. So while you're reaching for the stars, if something happens to happen and you fall, you don't fall all the way down plummeting to the earth and just splatter and, and die. While you're reaching for the stars, you continue to raise the floor instead of always raising the bar. If something happens, you fall, you fall on a cloud. Then you're like, okay, now I'm starting from the cloud instead of all the way back down to the earth splattered and die. All right? So focus on branding more than marketing. And just watch the audience that you start to cultivate and watch the audience of people that you begin to, to gather that you can then market to and that you then can sell to. And just watch Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm telling you, you'll learn a lot of stuff in there. I learned a lot of game and it's made me a lot of dough just from watching a little cartoon. So go ahead and click the link down in the description to tap into the community if you want to join. And I'll see you on our coaching call this Wednesday. Go ahead and check out this video right here for an actual step-by-step -step blueprint and strategy that I used to make a little over $200,000 in just one month with a digital product. It's crowded at the top.